Hello and welcome back to Understanding Crypto. My name is Eve and every other day on this channel, I try to bring you crypto in the easiest way possible on the internet. I cover things like predictive analysis, research and tutorials to help guide you through this crazy crypto world. So if that's the type of content you find interesting, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so that you don't get to miss any other value packed video like this one. And yes, I'm very excited to make this video today because I've been working on this uh, research for about three days now. So um, it's important to note that I'm not here to tell you to go and invest in anything. This video is only for educational purposes. I'm not telling you to put your money on anything by making this a video. All I do is I find projects that have some uniqueness and I do some research on them and make videos for you. In fact, you can even suggest some projects in the comments and uh, I will take a look at them. If they're interesting enough, I will make a video on them as well. So this chart right here shows you the estimated global revenue of the video game book movie and the music industry. We can see that the gaming sector brings in more revenue than the movie and music industry combined. With more than 3 billion players worldwide, it would be foolish to ignore this sector in cryptocurrency, which is one of the reasons why I thought of covering Portal, a crypto project that I find interesting as it has some unique property for interchain gaming. So, what the hell is this Portal? Portal is a Web3 gaming project focused on establishing a universal gaming ecosystem utilizing blockchain technology. Co-founded by Dan Keen, the project aims to provide gamers with a seamless gaming experience across various platforms. By incorporating decentralized finance and NFTs into its ecosystem, Portal seeks to enhance gaming experiences and transactions. The project's vision is to transform the gaming industry by creating a decentralized gaming network that connects gamers, developers, and content creators, while also introducing a universal gaming coin for transactions within the platform, hence the name Portal. Now, if you are as inquisitive as I am, then you must have been like, uh, but wait, we are talking about it being cross-chain and even implying that it could be blockchain agnostic, yet we haven't heard about anything like Polkadot or Cosmos. So what chain is it using for interruptibility? Well, if you asked yourself this question, then I owe you a free 10-minute one-on-one call. It so happens that Portal is built on Layer 0, an omni-chain interruptibility protocol designed for lightweight message passing across blockchains. By the way, Layer 0 is one of the most funded projects in the market. We're talking from 2022 to 2023. And no, it does not have a token yet, but I will be sure to cover the project in a later video as I see a lot of institutional interest in it. Central to the Portal ecosystem are some key components, such as the Portal Passport that provides a unified identity solution to simplify access to games and communities throughout the blockchains. The second is middleware solutions that offer developer-centric tools for managing on-chain transactions and ensuring a streamlined user experience. The third is the Portal Wallet, a gaming-focused wallet that supports multiple cryptocurrencies and acts as a gateway to Web3 gaming, allowing users to link their IDs from the Web2 space with platforms like Google and Discord. Portal is the native token of the Portal network, with a total and maximum supply of a billion tokens used for paying transaction fees, staking, partaking in project launches, and NFT rewards. The project raised a total of $28.7 million in its pre-sale and private funding rounds. This funding round was secured from investors such as Jimmy King, co-founder of Rockstar Games. Now, this I found interesting. Matt Dixon, global director of EA Games, Another thing that I found very interesting, Adrian Lay, CEO of Newman Group, and John Yao, CEO of Team Secret. Now, it's important to note that the private and seed price for Portal was about $0.08 cents per token. That's very low. This price was available for community members, private pre-sale investors, and participants in the pre-sale funding rounds with a supply of 380 million tokens, which is about 38% of the total supply available for that sale. The vesting schedule is linear, however. 
with 0.62% of the total supply unlocked monthly for community members and 1.3% for private pre-sale investors. So about 23% of seed round tokens vested per year. This schedule ensures a gradual release of tokens over time, providing a fair distribution and incentivizing long-term participation and engagement within the portal ecosystem. I wasn't able to find some particular documents to know exactly how many tokens were bought in this pre-sale by the way but if we consider that all the tokens were bought then that will translate to an annual inflation rate of about 8.7 percent which is not good however another leading benchmark to measure how overvalued or undervalued the token price could be is its listing price on binance which was two dollars to 2.7 dollars that would actually mean that the token is within value so it's within accumulation levels basically according with the roadmap portal is in the sixth stage of their 2024 plan the launch part phase which will enable portal holders to partake in project launches on the portal network for the sake of time you may screenshot the roadmap on the screen one major setback that i have with uh, portal is finding data about it it was not easy finding data about it at all like it was easy to research, but it was not easy to find the information in the first place. I mean, if you look at their website, which is the site on their X profile, there is no information or even a link to a blog where you can get information from. So if by some chance a member of the team is watching this video, I would recommend that they do something about this issue because it is very difficult to find information about the project. I even listened to a podcast of Dan Keen, one of the founders with Brave New Coin here on YouTube. I will leave the link to that video or just a podcast in the description for you if you want to learn more about the project from the founder himself. Looking at the so, charts, the first thing that we can note is that it is within the same price that it launched on Binance. So that would mean if we are using Binance as the benchmark for valuating its price or so the launch price on Binance, then we could say that this is within accumulation ranges. If we consider the idea that this move down here was its bottom and it is having a retracement right here for a potential lift off, then you would have a move that looks like so. The $3 zone would be the least zone to target in said move and the $4 zone would be the maximum zone to target from this particular structure right here this particular structure now you would have a move that looks like so and uh, impulse to two point this and then you have this when all of this was not formed yet i had this projection already and it stands true so long as this low is not taken now it's important to consider that about three percent of the total supply will be unlocked today Hence why we may be seeing this move to the downside like so. But I'm of the idea that we form some sort of double bottom right here and have a potential move to the upside. This $2 zone is the 0 0.618. If I bring you the levels, you'd see that. And the uh, $1.92 zone is the 0 0.786. So... Anywhere around this levels right here, I'd be expecting a double bottom formation. For the longer term or say medium term idea, what we can get from the charts is this type of formation like so. Now, let me give you a quick way to do this. If you see a double bottom like so, to get where price is going to go from this double bottom, you take your trend-based Fibonacci right here. You take your trend-based Fibonacci from this low right here to this high right here. That's the first high because you'd usually find price do something like so. So if you identify this as your double bottom, then you are taking your trend-based Fibonacci from this one to this one and to this one. So it's like, um, you know, a sign of the cross or something. Yeah, so that's how you get the projections to the upside. So one, two, three, you get projections to the upside. If it was inverse, it's the same thing as well. One, two, three. 
you get projections to the downside. So like so. By the way, if you use this ever, make sure to give me credit. You will not find it on any textbook. Anyway, you will now get your VFIP projection that looks like so. Now, this entire movement may only be the first bottom, which means that there could also be another double bottom right here waiting to have its own Fibonacci projection. And this, I know this will take long, but trust me, this will help you a lot. This means that this entire move up here may be the first bottom of a W formation, of a bigger W formation. So this is the first bottom and this is the second bottom. From here, you would have your correction that leads into this one. So this is the correction that leads into this second bottom, yeah? But inside of that second bottom, you have another smaller double bottom. So you can use your Fibonacci and get the projections for this other double bottom right here. Now, just assume that they are they look exactly the same, yeah? This is for the sake of time. I don't want to make this too long. So if this is the first bottom and this is the second bottom and you have a bigger price correction that comes down like so, you now have to take from here to here and back down to here. This now gives you the bigger picture where it will go in the midterm. So you see that inside of this small double bottom, we have a projection that looks like so. This small double bottom right here, which is this one. Now, these two join to form a bigger double bottom that gives you its own bigger target. This is why I can tell you that, hey, I think this thing will go here and it starts to go up like so and retraces from here and starts to come back to the downside. I'll get DMs and say, you still think it will go here? Simply because they don't understand what I'm looking at. And when I make videos like this, they don't watch it. <laughs> so it's really difficult sometimes. But I hope you're watching and you understand exactly how we get some of these targets and what it takes to get there. It's a process. So inside of the small double bottom, you have a projection. Inside of this small double bottom, you have a projection. They both join to form a bigger double bottom that has its own projection. And after this retracement right here, as you exit, you are now going for the bigger target. Now, coming back to Portal, how does that bring us here? It's the same thing. From this small double bottom right here, we have this projection that bounced at the 0 0.786. We see that it bounced here and it came back to the downside. If we manage to come back up here like so, which is why I'm suggesting that we may see some sort of double bottom forming right here. If we come back here, then we are entering this Fibonacci projection that would look like so with its 2.618 right here. Again, assuming that this was its bottom right here, then we will be having some sort of double bottom right here that comes up to this 0 0.786, which is somewhere around $2.28. If we do come back here and retest this level, we will most likely have some sort of inverted head and shoulders or just go straight to the upside. That upside would be targeting these levels. First level right there will be the $2.79. Second level will be somewhere around $3.40. The third level will be $4.62. Now, that's the highest from this particular double bottom projection. However, the bigger double bottom, just like this bigger double bottom that we talked about here would suggest that this entire move down like so was just another double bottom formation yeah and that would project to the upside like so it's interesting to see that if we use that as the metric then the 2.618 of this bigger double bottom will be projecting to where the 4.618 of the smaller double bottom is right here which will put you at the four dollars and 75 cent zone now the 4.618 which is the highest we can see from the entire structure is somewhere around seven dollars and 12 cents so even if it does come as low as a uh, dollar and 74 cents 
this entire thing stands true. Unless it goes below this low right here at a dollar and 61 cents. I bought at a dollar and 64 by the way. For now, this entire projection remains the same as this level keeps serving as its bottom. And that's pretty much it for my video on Portal, folks. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you did like it. I hope you did uh, learn something from it. If you want more videos like this, please give me a like on this video because I do a lot of work. It may appear short, but this takes days to research because even finding the information is not easy and, you know, I have to do a lot more things. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I still have another gaming project that I will cover soon on the channel. But before that, I am planning to cover a modular blockchain project for you you. Again, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one, but until then, stay safe.